Hi Q, episode 23. The longer this arc goes on, the more nervous I am. Because we're approaching the end of season one. Yeah, and it's fine for you. It's all well and good for Hinata and, Ka and Kageyama and a whole bunch of them. But I need my boy Daichi to get a victory. This is Daichi's story. <laughs> episode 23, the point that changes the momentum. Yeah, I think they switched to hand signs. This is the minor point. I don't know if it's intentional, but so far the, the momentum of the game has followed who is trying to figure out the other team. Throughout the arc of this game, whoever is the one reacting and trying to predict is the one on their back foot. They're just butting in and coaching the whole team. Okay. You can just leave, coach. So reliable. It's crazy how, how in not many episodes, all of them develop so much. The show is moving at breakneck speed. And then Tanaka clone just floats. I don't like it. Oh, that's what it was about. Whoa. That look, looked like a hold a little bit. Come on, ref. <laughs> this game is rigged. I mean, they look great. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking earlier. There's no weak links. I like how he turned that initial recognition of Seijo's strength into praise of his own team. Rare signs of Oikawa getting flustered. Someone to break the momentum. May as well be Hinata. They're afraid. And not to put fear in their hearts. Oh, the the bleacher is unusually quiet. No Shinoya putting it all on the line for that celebration. This whole time I've been waiting for Oikawa to show some signs of weakness and to break a little bit. Looks like it's finally happening. Yes. Yes. Time to switch sides, ladies. <laughs> oh, look at Hinata getting attention. Oh,ノシノヤ、again。Who wants it more? Really earning it. Two defenders. Someone else. From the back. Nice. Oh, they're shaky. They're shaky. Who wants it more? Not one ounce of weakness on this side at all. Oh, Oikawa unusually quiet. Actually letting the coach speak for once. That's a bad sign. Oh no, please don't have any more tools. Oh, my heart can't take it anymore. All this back and forth. Oh, they're adjusting. Damn it. What, but what could they possibly... be thinking by letting him just go up there freely? Oh, uh, defense. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, he used Suki's thing. No. I love how their weakness was just expecting Hinata to be successful 100% of the time. Their confidence in him. Oh no. He's back talking for coach. It's over for us. Man, they had me. They had me. I thought they were defeated. Get ready for O's. Damn, Daichi, though, that spirit. Oh. 
That didn't look great. Oh, 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 do something! Oh no! Damn it, fake Tanaka. Oh, why? 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 When does Hinata get back up front? Man, to have all this come down to the final couple points, brutal. It's brutal. I know it's a sports, but brutal. This is adding up. This is racking it up. Okay. Thanks, ref. Those were the points where he was up front? Oh. We got a sub? Whoa, that's a twist. Wait, but why? No pressure, dude. This is his first time playing, right? This is one of those one of those calls that this goes wrong. There's gonna be a lot of second guessing later. You're asking a lot of him. You're asking so much of him to come in at this stage in the game. Everybody's at 11 right now. <laughs> They're so amazing. They're just such great guys. They're such amazing people. I can't believe how supportive they are. Whether or not we win this match, we're all winners. <laughs> They're all winners in my heart. But also, please win the match. I want to love Oikawa like everyone else seems to. And I can't love him if he beats us. This means too much to me. Yeah, the awareness. They're holding it in. That was a great simultaneous poker face. Yikes. Such a make or break moment, I can't even. This is your chance to be a hero, though. Oh. No, shake it off. No mind. It's asking a lot, but rise to the level of your teammates really quickly on your first minute in the game. It's on you. Oh, damn, that looks good. And, oh. That was underwhelming. Oh, it hurts. But there, you saw some potential in there. There was some wobble on that ball. No mind. No mind. He like walked over to the, be the bench to apologize. No mind. Use it. At least we got out of the way. Oh, they took him out. Oh, I don't know. That's ooh, that's asking a lot of him. Most people would just be destroyed, especially if they lose. It's an interesting gamb gamble. I feel like Coach set that guy up. I can't get over it. Good. Out! Come on, ref. This game is rigged. Do they have challenges in volleyball? No, no. This is happening too quickly. Slow it down. Oh. This is way too close for comfort. Cover! The foot save again. Ooh. That face plant, though. Why does this feel so unbelievably epic from both teams? I really love all of them. No, 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 no. I don't want it to go down that way. I don't want it to go this way. This is not how I want it. Yoshinoya bringing the, the motivation. One more to tie it up. One more to tie it up. This last point is terrifying. Someone get up there. Oh, he's getting, giving it right back. Head to head. Kageyama and Oikawa. Still within reach. Hell yeah. <laughs> Oof, alright, alright. It's not sudden death anymore. Oh no, it's going to another episode. It wouldn't shock me if the last episode or the next episode was all for two points. Is there an upper limit? Is there a cap on points? It could go on forever and I wouldn't mind, although I'm like 
sweating over here. Even though I know these characters are great, even though I already have grown to love them in just, you know, 20 something episodes, they still continue to surprise me by how great they are. I think one of my favorite moments, even though it was a bizarre call with that sub, the fact that they won, were supportive of him walking on the field, not at all critical of the decision, not at all pressuring him to keep up or not blow it. When he made a mistake, there was not an ounce of negativity on the field at all, which actually I feel makes it worse for that kid because, oh, to let to do that, to not make it over the net, when you can see how hard this team is fighting and also how great they are to you, it just cuts extra deep. I feel like, <laughs> is this just me? Is that like a really dirty move from the coach? You're asking a lot for him to be able to sit on the sidelines after that mistake and reflect on what happened. A win will make that a lot better because it's like, at least I didn't blow it for everyone. You know, you wonder how much your mistake contributed to the overall net result of the game. But a loss, a loss would crush me if I was in his situation. I think what the episode does really well, you know, I'm invested in the outcome of the game, obviously, because, well, I think the stakes for me are, I feel like the seniors deserve a championship so, so badly. And this being their last chance, that's sort of where the, the pressure comes in, the time pressure, because Hinata and Kagam will have plenty of chances, you would think. Nevertheless, the show makes it pretty clear that that's not really what's at stake and that what really matters, we've kind of already accomplished. And it's not just... Karasuno, it's also Seijo. If we're looking for ideals, if we're looking for character, while they may not be cognizant of it because they're focusing on the game, they're kind of at, at this peak moment in their lives. Every now and then, if you're lucky, you get moments where you're exactly where you should be being exactly what you need to be. That's how I feel watching this match or this series of points. For a few moments there, they reached this palpable perfection that totally transcends the circumstances of what's going on. And I've said this a lot, even in this episode, but it continues to be amazing how the show is so quick to go there. Like they reached a peak really quickly and it makes you really curious what the subsequent seasons are gonna be about.